Sam, we don't have time for this. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. What are you thinking, Sam? You can't just leave Anna here alone. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. It won't happen again. I'm here. 100%. I hope so. I need you right now. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. We should get back to finding those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dicky. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You always seem to care about this town. Its history, its people. Why do this? I care more about this town than anyone. I've spent my whole life protecting it. 
Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. I have to think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick, he murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. I could tackle Declan to get him off Anna. Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole, Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still, Still has, has it on, on him. You need to watch out. You're no good to anyone dead. Take, Take it from me. Muley, it's time to give it your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's, He's stronger than he looks. Anna's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll, He'll kill, kill you both. I could try going for his gun. This is dangerous. I have to weigh my options carefully. No margin for error. Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole, Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still, Still has, has it on him. You need to watch out. You're no good to anyone dead. Take, Take it from me. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. I could grab his gun, but that would only work if Anna keeps Declan occupied. If 
and I can keep him busy a bit longer, I'll be able to close in on Declan. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. see me. I have to use this to my advantage. I should strike him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's safe for now. I need to keep it up. Declan might continue going after Anna. Declan might go for his gun. You know, Declan's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? He wants, he wants to, to destroy the evidence. Since your girlfriend has it. You better act fast, man. Declan might attack me now. That man is a monster. And he'll kill, kill you, you and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service gun, it'd be traced back to him. And he's been covering his, his track, track so far. If Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. If I can predict Declan's next action, I'll have a chance to get the jump on him. If Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Give me the evidence now. You want to get shot? Wait! Here, take it. <clears throat> Son of a bitch! If I don't do something, we're dead. But if I do the wrong thing... I have to stay focused. Account for all the elements at play here. We're doing well. I have to stay one step ahead of Declan, and we'll get him. We have to save Anna. We you dragged, dragged her into this mess. I dragged her into this mess. If you could distract Declan, Anna might have, have time, time to, get to get the gun. Keep his eyes, eyes on you, Sam. That ugly 
the yellow phone is your best, best chance, chance to call for help. That big jerk's not stupid. He'll probably, probably keep, keep an, an eye on that phone. I could get behind cover. I could try calling for help. I could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. If I dodge, I'm safe for the moment, but what then? I'll lose sight of Declan and he might focus on Anna. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. Going for the phone would bring Declan's focus onto me. But if the phone gets damaged, I might not be able to use it later. If I dodge, I'm safe for the moment, but what then? I'll lose sight of Declan and he might focus on Anna. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. Going for the phone would bring Declan's focus onto me. But if the phone gets damaged, I might not be able to use it later. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. Your gun, Declan. Anna! Hello? A woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, Anna, please. Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however, the journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna.
Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. No, Anna told me what you did. How hard you fought. Thank you for keeping your word. I had to. That promise kept me going. I bet it did. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous situations, all right? Sam. Sam. I've been meaning to call you. Have you talked to Joan? I haven't heard from her since last week. Why? What happened? She ran away. After she heard about Anna's... She just... She left. Do you know where she is? At my sister's. Sam, I don't even know what to do. She won't return my calls. Your calls? Kathy, you have to go talk to her in person. You think I don't know that? You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? You can't keep blaming her for everything. You also have to work on your own issues. What? Who are you to say that to me? You don't know the first thing about me. I know Joan feels you don't listen to her. She told me last week she already wanted to run away. She even told me about your pills, Kathy. She did. And you didn't think to come warn me? This shows how much you really care about her. Anyway, I was going to take some time off work, get myself together. After everything that's happened, I figured it's time I got a hold of things. I didn't need you to tell me that. Take care of yourself, Sam. Don't waste all your time with me. My daughter will want to see you. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? Well, let's say that I've had better weeks. Not a hard thing to believe. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. That day, you said you need to ride until you can't anymore. Well, this is as far as I go. The basswood jungle has printed its last pages. It's making you think it's finally the right time to retire, huh? Believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit, but my flame has run its course. Without Nick. Without Dennis. Can't run a paper by yourself. Nor would I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. 
Drop me a line sometime. Drop me a line. And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. I'm going to make sure that what happened to Nick is big news. I know you will, sweetie. Just keep something in mind. I think God put an angel and a devil in each of us when we were born. We spend our whole lives watching them fight it out. And most days, that little angel comes out on top. But we all have times when it's the devil who's in charge. We make our own decisions, Bess, and we have to live with them. And I can promise you one thing. I won't let another Declan happen again. You have my word on that. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. We have nothing more to say to each other. So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? Uh, better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, know, you saved my life. I'm also the reason you were in danger. Except you aren't. Dickie would have still broken into my house. It's true. I really wish we'd gotten what was in those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. <sighs> There's still something missing. Something eating at me. Real mysteries don't wrap up in nice little bows. Maybe. Just for once, turn your brain off. So what are you going to do next with your unshot and healthy body? I'll finish up Nick's article. It's the least I can do for him. It's the least we can do. We'll finish the article together. Uh-huh. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. 
And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Mr. Higgs, not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. I'm just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Thanks. I'm not used to people saying things like that. <laughs> You may have to get used to it. What you did helped everyone. It really bolstered the common good. Be proud. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. Common good. Common common good shit. Common good shit, right? I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. Don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? No, no, get out the way. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. Common good. Common good. Common good. Young man, is everything all right? How dare you? How dare you even come here? You insult his memory by even being here. I wasn't trying to give offense. I, I merely... Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Now, that is a very serious accusation. The kind that, without proof, would never hold up. Kathy has to have the specifics. She's nervous and probably scared. But your trigger man is gone. Do you think she'll stay scared? Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. 
You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? I'm here now. My sleeves are rolled up and I'm getting to work. I'm not asking for you to explain, I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joan. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Just say whatever lies you think will save you. Very well. If you insist, a little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is who profits? Criminals, mobsters, lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People rarely show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick, who took bribes, buried the truth? What will his daughter think when I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter? And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. And they'll all know the common good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on. Because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood, many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. 
Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. Oh, how the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. Um.